Hi guys, Sajjad Hussain again with a new video. Actually, I can say this is not a new video, rather it is in continuation with my previous video. In my previous video, I explained how to design the machine foundation. This was pure theoretical and it was based on their book. And the book was Design of Structures and Foundations for Vibrating Machines by Suresh Arya, Michael O'Neill and George Pincus. In, this, in that video, I explain how to, to design a machine foundation for, the, for a vibrating load. And I showed my Excel sheet which I developed where I took an example from this book let me show you the example the example was like this one a machine foundation whose width is 27 point 27 feet 6 inches width was 15 feet 9 inches and its height was 5 feet and of course the forces were acting at some location, this was the center of gravity of forces for compressor and this was the center of gravity of forces for motor and all these informations are given. The forces are also given here. So in this example, the load and forces, everything is given. So I took this example and since this example is solved in detail, like in a table like this one, so I tried to reproduce this table and I showed in my Excel sheet that how easy it is to solve this problem and design the foundation dynamically. Uh, this is pretty, pretty simple, not a very complex one. But now I received some comments that if we want to use a stat, then how we can design this machine foundation in a stat? Well, in a stat, since this is a block, so what we have to do, we have to use a solid element, eight noted solid element to define this block. So now I'm going to explain you step by step how to define the block easily and uh, how you can uh, define these points. What will be the link between these points? these two points of uh, center of gravity for the forces with this block and how they will interact. So all this I'm going to explain in my video. So let's go back to STAD. In STAD I'm going to start a new model. Let's say the name is Dynamic machine foundation um, of course the folder is okay the units are English units let's create the model now I am going to use solid element for to represent this block in x direction, I can say the length is 27 feet 6 inches. In z direction or perpendicular to x direction, the width is 15 feet 9 inches. The height in y direction is 5 feet. So what I feel, let me divide the total length in x direction by 20 equal blocks. And here they can be 10 equal blocks. And in vertical direction, there could be four, four blocks. So the height can be divided into four. The length in X in divided into 20. And the width in Z direction is divided into 10. So if I divide 27 feet 6 inches into 20 equal parts, so it will be 27.5 feet multiplied by 12 inch and then I'm going to distribute this into 12 equal segments 
So each piece will have a length of 16.5 inches in X direction. In Z direction, the width is 15, point, 15 feet and 9 inches, 15.75 feet multiplied by 12. So 189 divided by 10 is 18.9. So in this direction, the width will be 18.9, and in z direction, sorry, in y direction, upward direction, the height of the block is 5 feet, which is 60 inch. If I divide it into four equal parts, so the height will be 15 inch. So let us define block first. So to start with, as you know, that if I can add a solid block of this dimension but then I cannot mesh it because there is no provision in a stat to mesh a solid block. So let us divide first a unit. It should be in inches. Pound is okay. So let's divide first the origin which is 0, 0, 0. In x direction, as we calculated, it is 16.5 inches. Then in z direction, 16.5 inch, y is 0. And in z direction, this is 18.9 inches. And then again, it will be 0, 0, and 18.9 inches. So these are the four nodes defined here. Now what I want to do, I want to copy all these four nodes. At uh, 15 inch, at a height of 15 inch. So let's say copy. Then we want to paste nodes in y direction, it should be 15. So this eight noted eight points are available to define the, the eight noted element. To define eight noted element, we have to be very careful. We should always go anti clockwise, and whatever be the point. From where we start the definition, uh, we should define the, the, the another node on top of it in the same manner. Like I want to define the solid eight noded element. So let's go from this point to this point, this point, and this point. Then from here, here here and here. Now, this is the first block and then we will generate the blocks in x, y and z direction. But before proceeding, are we sure that this block is right? So let us render it and see. Yeah. So this block is okay. Otherwise, you will have problem. Now, now I'm going to multiply. Let's show origin at the at origin. Access should be shown at the origin. This is our x direction. This is z direction, and this is y direction. Now I selected this solid element which I just defined. And it should be generated 19 times in x direction. So let us repeat. The spacing is 16.5. And there should be 19 
It should be repeated 19 times. Okay. Now you can see that a first line of uh, L, uh, solid elements are defined. In x direction, this should be 330. So the, 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 the coordinate shows that in x direction, the lens is 330 inch, which is correct. Now we have to generate or we have to translate in z direction. Let me let's select the solid, all solids. Now we can generate in z direction. In z direction, it was 16.5. And it has to repeat it for it has to repeat for nine nine times. So altogether, this is okay. So this is the first layer defined. And if we check the the coordinates, so here it should be in z direction. something wrong something wrong the width was 18.9 I was mistaken let's do again so let's select all solids and then let us repeat in Z direction in Z direction it is 18.9 there should be nine times repetition okay that's fine and the last point its coordinate should be 189 that's correct so this is the first layer generated let us select all solid elements select sorry all solid and now we have to generate in Z direction, sorry, Y direction. And in Y direction, we have to repeat it for three times. And the height is 15 inch. So now the block is generated. Now you can see this height is 16 inch. That means this block is generated. It is very easy to generate this block. Now, in the next step, I'll explain, uh, uh, sorry, I will define the two nodes which are center of gravity for the motor and center of gravity for the pump. And then I will link that node with this base plate, so uh, this foundation block. So let me stop at this point and uh, I hope that you will like my video. My request is to please subscribe my channel and share it with the other friends so that everyone uh, can take advantage of uh, these lectures so let me stop at this look at this point and uh, wait for the uh, second part on this topic so hopefully very soon maybe in a day or two i will generate the, the, the other nodes and then I will define the the loads on these points and the dynamic loads of course I shall use time history analysis for this so hopefully we will see again thank you very much